Okay, I know I told you I was going to spray the wasps today, but I had second thought. I'm going to take you out here with me, show you this thing. And I'm thinking I just need to take it down and put it in a, do my, my nighttime garbage bag wasp removal. And it's because they're coming out of many holes in it. It's not just one hole at the bottom. I thought I could just spray the hole at the bottom, but I don't think I can. So, thinking about a lawsuit, what if somebody got stung a bunch? Could they sue us? So even though I don't want to kill them, I'm wondering if maybe I have to. So here we go. Here it is. It's gotten bigger and lower, so I don't think I can duck under it anymore. I'm about four feet from it. I don't know if you can see them flying. There's a lot of holes. So I'm going to back up, show you if I can with the sun. And if you can see the other one up there. If I even did that right. Let me move over here the sun behind me. Maybe you can see this one. This one is actually bigger. Can you see that up there? Yeah, they're beautiful. Design-wise, they're just so pretty. And this one has um, gotten, gotten so low. Just don't think it's about as high as our mailbox, so it's I'm I'm like five four and it's the bottom of it is probably right Ooh, one just flew right at me. Did you see that? Um The bottom of it is probably right at my shoulders, so I'm gonna make another video of I'll probably take it out tonight. Look at that design, isn't that cool? You see the multiple holes? The one, there's one coming out of the bottom right now, but they come out of all sides. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do, if you see the branch right above it, is just, you know, hold a garbage bag underneath it, clip the branch, you know, when they're at, at home at night, when they're not flying around. Maybe do that tonight. Maybe. I'll film it. See ya.